Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March 12th, 2020. Well, boy, yesterday, um, I was kind of hoping that we would get some kind of a follow through um, after Wednesday's rally. Um, obviously, that didn't happen. Hope doesn't matter much here in a market with so much emotion. And we certainly turned south. And unfortunately, it's getting much worse this morning. So why don't you grab yourself something to drink, settle into your nice comfy office chair, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So last night, the president um, had an Oval Office um, conversation with um, the United States, and he put in place a European ban of uh, flights. It's not a total European ban on flights, but it's um, not allowing um, most of the areas over there from traveling to the United States in an attempt to help stop some of the, um, well, obviously, massive growth of this um, now officially a pandemic uh, in the United States. And, you know, there's not a whole lot, even though we've got um, politicians all over the place pointing fingers trying to blame somebody for this. There's really not a whole lot that uh, a government can do um, in the way of of um, hedging around or stopping a um, a viral outbreak like this. It's it's mostly just management of what we can um, as it continues to grow. Now you could argue back and forth that response has been too slow or any of that, and that's fine. Um, I'm not trying to make a political statement here at all. Just saying that we have proven with our Fed, our central bank lowering rates, it didn't matter. Um, Europe um, lowered their rates yesterday. The the um, Bank of England lowered their rates. Uh, that didn't matter. European stocks are looking at a 5% decline this morning. There's not a whole lot that we can do um, on a situation like this. And to be honest, guys, there's really no metric for measuring this. Um, this is kind of an unprecedented thing. And fear is, is, is a very real emotion that is gripping this market really, really hard. Now, it seemed almost... Um, ridiculous when I mentioned the idea that we could actually sink into the 2018 lows just a few days ago and yet here we are this morning very very close to that 2018 low at the open futures have been halted they've halted they've hit a second circuit breaker this week um, halting that slide to the downside so my goodness, what a mess we have this morning. But here's the thing I wanna talk about today. There's not a whole lot, I mean, technically our charts are just an absolute mess. If we take a look at um, our charts, um, we're just in a free fall uh, to the downside here, wiping out a tremendous amount of money in the market. And the thing is, is it an overreaction? Um, it very well may be. It, it may be a complete overreaction in the market, but that's not stopping the selling. And what I want to echo here this morning is, you know, we need to be very, very careful of this. Everyone wants to try and predict, oh, this has got to be a bottom. Um, they've been saying that. Um, the talking heads have been saying that since the first part of this sell-off. Oh, this is overblown. Start buying. Um, well, uh, not so much. And what we need to do, um, if, if you're feeling depressed, um, panicked, about this situation is just stand aside. Stand aside and let this occur. You know, if we have our money out of the market, if we're setting in cash, this doesn't hurt us. As a matter of fact, there is a silver lining to this, and that silver lining is when this is over, there is going to be bargain basement prices for great stocks. So, if you avoid getting beat up in this sell-off, if you stand aside 
protecting your capital, there's going to be tremendous opportunity here in the future. And I know it's depressing watching this fall apart and probably even more depressing to know that this virus spread is, is moving almost unchecked across the country. And, um, you know, um, very high probability that um, the majority of us are going to catch it at some point in time. So it, it's a scary situation, and I understand that. But stand aside and protect your capital. Your money's not going to go away if it's in your cash account, and you can hold on to that waiting for this market to settle down, okay? And... Uh, where this ends, you know, I, there's a lot of folks out there. You can uh, turn on any news channel and somebody's going to be predicting something about what happens next. We don't know. And anybody that really tells you that they know what's coming into the future is, is really, um, well, grab a hold of your wallet because you're about ready to lose some money. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen here. And... And no one does. This is pretty unprecedented. Um, and the thing is, we're just getting started here in the United States with the impacts of this potential virus. As you guys probably saw in the news, the NBA has suspended the season. Um, um, the huge Mark, March Madness um, basketball tournament is, is going to, um, at least at this point, they're going to have it, but with no spectators. These are unprecedented things that are happening here in the United States, and it's going to get worse before it gets better. I think that's pretty clear. So protect yourself. Don't, don't fight this market. Don't let that gloom and doom hang over your head. Um, stand aside. Wait for this to settle down because I promise you it will. The market will open another day. The sun will come up another day. And all we have to do is wait for those days to occur. Um, be very, very careful here. For those of you that are very quick traders, remember um, short side trading is certainly very viable right now. Buying up those puts uh, as these moves occur but you're going to have to be really quick in those trades because the market volatility is likely going to be extremely uh, volatile today, um, triggering another circuit breaker. So just keep that in mind. Now let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation. And I know it just seemed like it was an impossibility that we could go lower. And here we are gapping substantially lower into this next level of support here in the chart. And again, futures halted. Could we actually drop all the way down into here? Um, I, I don't think we should rule out anything at this point and just realize that we're in a free fall here in the market. Anything is possible and we need to protect ourselves, stand aside, let this occur. And when it's over, um, there's going to be great opportunity for all of us um, in this market. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues um, sinking sharply this morning. Um, I know it just seemed unlikely when I mentioned the other day that there was a possibility that the queues could now seek out its 500 day. And it looks to me like we're headed there this morning. Um, that gap down very close coming into that 500 day. Um, there is some price support right in this area right here. As you can see so if we drop down into this area we could find that 500 day pretty easily and maybe bounce off of this area at least temporarily but we're in a critical situation here and the uncertainty of this virus spread just um, is going to make it very very difficult for people to buy um, uh, particularly even heading into the uncertainty of the weekend, um, going to make it very difficult to buy. So it may be better to just, uh, you know, shut off your computer, go do something else today, protect that capital. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, um, wow, um, what an amazing move here. IWM um, came down here and touched that 2018 low yesterday. Uh, bounced through it and came back up and now this morning gapping substantially lower than that 2018 low there is a little price support down in here i'll drag a line down here there is a little price support down in here that could um, halt that fall 
but certainly we're in an ugly ugly situation here in the market that just continues to get worse let's take a look at the vix the vix this morning is likely to gap substantially higher and remember i i went to a weekly chart and i pointed out the possibility uh here in 2008 where we reached up here in the 80 handles of the vix that certainly seems like a possibility this morning that we could reach up here and who knows maybe even beyond that um, as this panic continues to um well not to use a pun but plague the market and um that is um going to be painful for a lot of folks. Um, um, we have to imagine that going forward here, um, there's going to be tremendous panic. Imagine you're working the phone bank at a mutual fund or a 401k plan or something like that. Um, those phones are probably ringing off the hook with everyone um, racing for the door saying, get me out, get me out, get me out. So there's likely to be more forced selling. And um, we're probably also going to see um, a tremendous uh, amount of damage in margin calls over the next um, couple of days um, with this selling. So keep that in mind, we may not be finished and, and the volatility is likely to remain very extreme for a time. Um, anyone trading options right now, when we start reaching up here in these levels for these option prices, they're gonna be ridiculously expensive because of the time value. So be very, very careful um, with, uh, with your trading and how you um, approach the market. Let's Let's take a look at a T2122, which really isn't going to help us much here this morning. T2122 is already down here in the basement, and um, <laughs> it can't really go much lower, but here we are. We're going um, gapping substantially lower this morning in the market. So not really going to help us here we're in a free fall of the market one thing it, it does tell us is that we're extremely oversold in the short term um and if we do start to um find those bottoms we could get a substantial bounce but until that occurs just be very very careful here in the market guys it's going to be extremely volatile um, overall let's take a look at our economic calendar today and we do have a few things to pay attention to on the economic calendar we have jobless claims and we have the ppi both of these uh, uh, you know u.s economy and job wise has, has been very very strong i wouldn't expect these to be uh, terrible reports this morning but on the same um, same breath, I'm going to say I wouldn't expect anybody to even really be paying attention to what they say, um, because um, right now we have just tremendous panic in the market. So um, keep an eye on those, but I doubt they're going to have much impact in the market overall. We also have our biggest day of earnings reports uh, today with more than 250 companies reporting earnings. But once again, I'm not sure that's going to make any difference at all um, in the market today. Um, everything is going to be virus related. Uh, looks like Dollar General gapping down. Now, I can't tell you if this is, if this is a result of its report this morning or a fifth this is just a reaction to the market this morning but it looks like it's moving lower this morning um avgo avgo also sinking this morning work work looks like it's moving a little bit lower here this morning um adbe these are all on the earnings calendar today, but like I say, I can't tell you if they've reported um, here this morning or if this is just the gap down reaction to um, the the overall market move. Um, Adobe looking lower this morning. Um, uh, Crone, Crone uh, looks like it's gapping a little bit lower here this morning. Even, hey, <laughs> even cannabis seems to be having some trouble here. You, Who would have thought that? Um, GPS, GPS um, gapping lower this morning. Uh, JBL, looks like JBL is moving lower this morning. Um, Oracle, Oracle gapping substantially lower this morning. Tilly's, 
gapping slightly lower, kind of holding in there. Um, top gapping lower this morning. Ulta gapping substantially lower this morning. Um, ZOMZ. Um, just a <laughs> extremely wide bid ask spread on this. Um, waiting on that report. I can't tell you what's happening. So pretty ugly morning here this morning. Um, I think you know I would love to give you guys some some great trading ideas and things like that. But I got to tell you, it's so dangerous right now. Um, it it really would be wise to just be standing aside. However, places that you might find some um, some safety. Maybe taking a look at gold, you can see gold is perking up just a little bit this morning in um, in this sell-off. So gold might be a place to look. Um, bonds, bonds are perking up again this morning. That might be a place to look to try and reach some safety. Um, there might be... Um, there might be some select stocks in utilities that could perk up uh, because of their high dividend yield. But this morning, you can see utilities are even gapping substantially lower this morning. Defensive sector stocks such as Clorox holding up well, but you can see it's getting a major uh, thump on the head here this morning. Um, you know, Hershey's chocolate, um, who's not going to continue to have Hershey's, but wide bid ask spread here, and you can see it's had a substantial sell off here. So everything's being drug into this. If we look at transports, um, our transports are, this is about as sick as I've seen them in a long, long time. Um, transports gapping substantially lower. We're, we're in some serious situation here. So, um, is the sky falling? Well, it sure feels like it, but trust me, guys, the market will open again tomorrow. Things will get better. What we need to do as traders is we need to protect our capital, okay? Don't try to, you know, um, put on... Uh, I see this so much, particularly in social media. Um, uh, these folks out there promoting, oh, they're the greatest traders in the world and they've got their chest all pumped out up and they're just making a killing in this market. Folks, that's a, that's uh, by and large a bunch of baloney. Um, markets like this, everyone's losing. And there could be those that are making out like bandits uh, during the sell-off if they have the tenacity to hold the short trade through all of this selling. But I got to tell you, that's not most people. Most people are not capable of holding through this wild volatility on these downside moves. There may be some quick intraday trading going on, really fast intraday speed traders making some money. But let's face the facts. This is a pretty brutal situation. So don't let the depression get to you. Don't let this um, desire to fight the market get to you. Stand aside, protect that capital and wait. There's going to be just amazing opportunities uh, when this finally settles down. And no one knows where the bottom of this is going to be. Um, we could be into, you know, we could start seeing virus numbers improve here the, in the United States over the next couple of weeks. We don't know. Or we could see the virus situation get far, far, far worse. And we stay in this bearish kind of market for the next six months. No one knows. And this unprecedented unprecedented move in the market, um, it, it, while it may be painful and while it may be scary, um, it's, it's not so scary when you have your money protected and stand aside. U.S. economy overall is still strong. Jobs are good. Could, we, could this push us into recession? Yes, it definitely could push us into recession. But overall, our country continues to be strong. So protect that capital and um, be prepared watching the market carefully for that opportunity when things do start getting better. So I hope that helps everyone. I know this is kind of one of those days where you just want to throw up your hands and, and you know, go dig a hole and cover it up and, and, and just stay in your little, your little zone. I, I get that. But um, please understand that markets go through periods like this and then there's great opportunity afterwards so stand aside protect your capital 
go do something else today and um it will there will be better days coming i promise you that everyone take care have an awesome awesome day i want to wish you all of the best and if you found this video to be helpful or informative if you guys could please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on youtube and click uh, that bell icon so you can be notified um, every time i post one of these videos better days are coming i promise you that everyone take care we'll talk to you all soon